In this video, I want to break down how to create some really cool effects and transitions using a technique called speed ramping. Now, speed ramping is basically either taking like the middle of the clip, the start or the end, and either speeding it up or slowing it down. Now, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use the speeding up technique, but you can also, again, use the same kind of principles that I show you to slow down a certain part of a clip. Now, in reality, you really don't want to slow down your clip if it was shot in lower than 120 frames per second. 60 frames per second can be okay sometimes, but it's not always that noticeable or that it really doesn't look that great. And especially if your video is shot in 24 or 30 frames per second, do not slow it down because the video is going to look choppy and it's going to be completely unusable. So in this video, I'll show you how to basically create some really cool speed ramp transitions. So as you can see, here's a clip that I'm going to be using as an example. Now as you can see, this clip is really long. So if I go over here and play the clip again, it's a really long clip, which obviously is perfectly fine if you're doing like an intro to the video but speed ramping can really help either again speed up a clip or slow down a clip so for example again this clip is really really long and let's say we want to go ahead and speed it up so let's zoom into the timeline a little bit now what you want to do I'll zoom out a little bit now basically what you do is you want to find a part where you want to go ahead and start speeding up the clip so take your playhead and let's say we want the clip to start speeding up at around six seconds and what you want to do is you want to click the R key on your keyboard to bring up the range selection to it. Now using your mouse, drag it out and you basically want to find an end frame. So let's say maybe something like this and we go, so we'll go ahead and basically let's say we want it to end maybe something like right here. So go ahead and release your mouse. Now what you want to do is you want to click on shift N and that will bring up the speed tool. Now what you do is you want to click on the A button to bring back your select tool. Now as you can see this is what it looks like. We basically just bladed the speed. Now there's a couple of things you can do to make this you know work. You can head this head down to this little drop down arrow and you can either go fast, you can go or slow, you can go fast, normal, you can enter in a custom amount. You can also go over here and select on the clip right here and you can also head over here to this um, speed wheel. So we select on this clip right here. You can head over here to the speed wheel. As you see here are a whole bunch of different options uh, that you can mess with. But in this case what we're going to do is we're going to take our mouse, we're going to hover it right here. We're going to go ahead and just simply drag it. Now as you can see it turns, it starts to turn blue. Blue basically means it's sped up, green means it's at normal speed, and then yellow, a yellow orangish color means it's at a means it's um, in slow motion. So see that blue line, that means this part, this part right here is sped up. So if we, clip, if we play the clip right here, as you can see, see how it's like sped up, but let's say we want to make it look even faster, so take the and just keep dragging it to go as fast as you want. Again, remember you can also enter in the, you can go to the drop down arrow and enter in the custom speed. So if I play it right here, as you can see, there we go, it's a sped up a little, a little more, but let's say, actually, I want to make it go even faster, so keep speeding it up, keep, I'm just holding down the mouse and then dragging it, so if I go ahead and play the clip right here, as you can see, there we go, I think that looks really cool, that's kind of the, the look that we want. Now, a couple of things you can do too, if I go ahead and click on Command R, I can disable the retiming tool, or click on Command R to re-enable the retiming tool. A couple other things you want to do is click on, see like, right here, this little thing right here, once it like highlights white, you can go ahead and either drag drag it in the, in, you know, either to the right or to the left to slow it down or speed it up. You can also double click on it right here and you can either um, enable the speed transition and you can also edit the source frame so that you didn't really start or end where you wanted to, you can easily adjust that. Now the speed transition is this line right here. So basically this grayed out area and this grayed out area is basically, it's like the transition. So instead of going from like 400 or 500% to directly to um, 100%, you can see this little grayed out area is basically where it's kind of like slowly transitioning. So you can either hover on the blue line till this little icon uh, comes up or hover on the green line, so as you can see right here. So if we drag it right here, this is gonna be more of a speed of, of more of a transition. Or if we go ahead and drag it like this, and drag the green, which this icon comes up right here. Now that the transition is not going to be, it might not be super noticeable, but basically you're going from like uh, like four or five hundred percent right to a hundred percent, like instantly. So it's not going to be as a gradual transition. So we go ahead and play it right here. See, like it, it's it looks finally it looks really cool, but like see how like quick it is versus if we go ahead and just undo um, the speed transition. And now there's a little now you see that gray area. If we play it right here. 
as you can see, see now it's, it, 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 again, it's, it's not super noticeable, but it, it, even the small little things where it kind of gradually slows up or gradually speeds up, it, I think it's just really cool. It's not 100% super noticeable, but I would definitely say take these little like blue lines or green lines and just drag them this way because you want to have all this grayed out area is basically like the transition. So it's going from, it's going from really um, normal speed to slowly getting faster and then slowly getting slower. So that's basically how you create some speed ramp transitions. Now another thing you might want to do is let's head over here to the titles and generators tab. You also want to add some motion blur. Now this is not a necessity, you don't have to do this, but it makes the transition look a lot better. Now unfortunately motion blur does not come natively with Final Cut and I actually did not create this plugin. This plugin is from Ryan Nagel. Definitely go ahead and head over to his YouTube channel where he has a whole tutorial basically showing you how to use them and how to install them and the link to his website should be on his YouTube channel, the best channel for learning Final Cut. And what we're going to do is we're going to head over here for Moderate Motion Blur 2 and we're going to take his Moderate Motion Blur 2 plugin and we're just going to place it on top of basically where we have it sped up. So as you can see and then Option, we're just going to go ahead and trim it and there you go. As you see, you see now there is, if we go ahead and enable, uh, disable it and enable it, you have some really cool um, motion blur. Well, probably one of the best must-have plugins for Final Cut. Again, definitely go ahead and check out Ryan Nagel's channel. He has some amazing Final Cut tutorials and amazing Final Cut Pro um, plugins and presets. So if we go over here, as you can see, see, there's just a little more, you can see that motion blur. I just think that looks even nicer. There we go. Just, it's a subtle thing, but I think it adds a lot to it. Now, one other tip that I want to go over is another really cool thing to do when you want to blade speed. Let's say, like the end of the clip right here, we want this part sped up. So, basically, part of your playhead where you want it sped up, select the clip and click on Shift B. And Shift B is going to blade the speed. So, you either do Shift N or Shift B. We want to just blade the speed and then go over here and we want to speed this part up. And we want to add some moderate motion blur too and then we'll go ahead and just simply trim it. Then we can have the end part speeding up. You can also have the beginning of this clip also speeding up to create a really clean speed ramp transition. So we go ahead and play the video, there we go. And then you see it kind of speeds up. So it speeds up right there. And as you see, there we go. Then it speeds up at the end. Now what I found for speed ramp transitions is sometimes clips of somebody walking with their feet, if you speed that up, it looks a little weird. So it, obviously it's a personal preference, but that's how you basically create some really clean speed ramp transitions in Final Cut. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro plugins, presets and overlays, definitely go ahead and check out my digital store. Link is down in the description below. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.